What's up, guys? It's me, Joel Hargett, your favorite real estate broker, aka your next real estate broker. Hey, guys, I'm coming to you today with a fun video on real estate investing. So, I meet so many people all the time, and they ask me different questions about should I get into real estate investing? Uh, how to go about getting into real estate investing. So I took some of the questions that they have and some of the notes that I have about that and I'm just gonna compile it for you and throw it to you and let you make your own decision on whether it's a good idea for you to invest in real estate or not. So first off, let's just start. A normal person investing in real estate. I'll tell you my story. Uh, my wife and I, I think it was about five years ago, we bought a home in an area of town. We didn't really know anything about real estate, but we saw an area and we were like, ah, oh, you know, it's not really built out too much. Uh, so we kind of like it. So we bought a home, $72,000 for a town home. Then two and a half years later, we sold that home that we bought for $72,000. We sold it for $135,000. Then we took that money in between after we sold it, after we paid realtor fees, all that other jazz, taxes, blah, blah, blah. We took that chunk of change that we had left. We rolled that into a new house that was $235,000. Um, and again, that's the only way we could have been able to get into that home. It's from the profits that we made from the first house, rolling it into the second one. So with that being said, now, two and a half years later since then, our property is worth three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars all right so you get where we're at now the home that we're currently in we lived in it for two and a half years we bought it for 235 now it's worth 335 that's a hundred thousand dollars in two and a half years all right so let's do a little bit of math our mortgage was about one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars a month we pay that for two and a half years. So that two and a half years is 30 months. So let's take 1,350, multiply that by 30. That's gonna give us $40,500. So that's how much we paid uh, in total for those 30 months uh, to the bank for the mortgage for letting us borrow the uh, home. So that's, you know, mortgage payment and interest. Um, so that's a lot of money, right? $40,000. However, when you think about it, we technically kind of invested that money into our home and that money didn't just disappear. Uh, it wasn't like given away for rent and we'll never see that again, right? We actually will see that and I'll show you how. So, earlier we talked about the home. We talked about how it appreciated $100,000. Now we also talked about how we paid in those two and a half years, $40,500. So, let's take Let's just round it to $40,000. So let's take $100,000, subtract $40,000, what we paid. That's $60,000. So now we take that $60,000, that's basically what someone paid us to live in our home for for two and a half years. We got $60,000 for living in our home for two and a half years. So instead of just paying money, that $40,000, not getting it back, someone actually gave us $60,000 to live in our home. Does that make sense? It's that, that equity that we built in between. So if you wanna break that $60,000 down even more, so for every month that we lived in our home, someone paid us two grand. Let that sink in. Instead of throwing away money, every single month that we lived in our home, someone has paid us $2,000. Now Joel, how did you get that number? Remember that $60,000 divided by 30, um, that gives you two. So that'd be $2,000 for every single month that we've lived in our home. Versus if we weren't investing in real estate, if we didn't have a home for ourselves, we'd just be throwing that money away. Um, you know, we would have thrown that $40,000 away in rent and had nothing to show for it. But now we have that equity built up in our home. Does that make sense? So that's number one personally investing in it for your home that you're gonna live in. And these are just numbers that have worked for me. I'm not saying these numbers are gonna be the exact same for you. I'm just saying in my experience with real estate, that's what's helped me out. All right, so now let's move on to other parts of investing. So you can invest in a home, buy it, have somebody rent it out, 
Um, you can invest in a home, fix it up, and flip it. You can partner with people and invest in homes. Oh, there's tons of different ways to do it. But the key is, I recommend just getting in it. Reaching out to a real estate broker like myself or someone else. Uh, talk to a financial advisor first as well, just to make sure you have the funds to make it work. Because you can lose money. You can lose money. But you can also make a lot of money as well. So let's think about it. You want to think about the different lens that you look through real estate investing in. So are you going into real estate investing to get passive income month over month, getting income uh, from the properties that you're renting out? Uh, are you looking to just get a property? And yes, yeah, great if you get passive income, but you're working on building out that equity year over year, time over time, right? Um, and then as you build that out, you can also pull from it, uh, You know, reach out to a lender about that. They'll talk about different ways that you can pull money out of your home once you've uh, grown that equity. Um, but right now we're just talking about the income you can make from it. So you got that equity that you can um, build from it, right? Uh, that's kind of like what happened for my first home. When I got it for $72,000, we sold it for 135. That money in the middle was that equity that we built up. Um, and then we took that out and that was actual cash on hand that we can use to do whatever we wanted. And we chose to reinvest it again into a bigger home. But um, I digress. So you can buy homes, you can you know flip it, fix it and flip it, you can rent it out. Couple different ways we can rent it out. So I helped an investor purchase a home and he gave me so much knowledge that I didn't know. What he told me was, kind of like what I'm telling you now, think about how you want your investment to work for you. You don't need to work for your investment, you can, but how you want it to work for you. So he was really big into rentals. So he'd buy a rental. He told me he makes barely anything on his rentals, but from the lens he's looking at, he's looking at building up that equity over time. He did drop a nugget for me, which is a good tip for you. He said, if you want to get you know more passive income, let's look at ways of how to do that. So he was like, a good thing that he's noticed is you can buy a condo with a detached garage, rent the condo out separately, rent the detached garage out separately, and that's two incomes off of one property. All right, that makes sense? Two incomes off that one property, renting out that garage, and then renting out that condo as well. So that's a good way to look at it. Airbnb, you can do it that way. Um, you know, there's different things that go into that as well. Uh, it can be become become a job just because you have people checking in and checking out constantly. There's going to be repairs that you're going to have to do. Uh, you might have to answer phone calls in the middle of the night with people not knowing how to open up your home, things of that nature. But not steering you away from it. You can make money in Airbnbs. You can also fix and flip. Uh, that's another way to um, get into the real estate business. Uh, you can do it on the residential side. You can do it on the commercial side. A lot of times, fresh coat of paint, some new floors, you can make some money. But with that being said, the main thing is get into real estate investing if you feel like it's good for you. Um, it's always, let me not say it's always good, but I found out that it's always good for me at least to be on the investor side. I um, don't want to trade hours for dollars. I've been able to put myself in a position where now certain systems that I put into place are making money for me and I'm not really working for it. And that's a much better place to be. You have way more freedom, time freedom, and that's something you can't get back. You can always get back money. You cannot get back time freedom. So even if you don't go into real estate investing, I really recommend going into some type of investing because that's the part of the quadrant, um, if you read Rich Dad Poor Dad, that you, by Richard, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, if you read that by him, that's the part of the quadrant that most people want to get into is that real estate side. Sorry, not real estate side, that investing side. That way you don't really have a job. Your money is a tool that's making money for you. Um, but with that being said, I know this video was a little all over the place. Main concept is get into real estate investing where you can fit in. Doesn't always require a lot of money. Reach out to a mentor, reach out to someone who you know, like, and trust, who you think or know that can guide you in the right way. Um, again, if you think about the majority of mil 
millionaires in America. They all have some type of residential um, or commercial real estate portfolio. So money isn't everything, but if you are interested in making money, I honestly recommend getting into real estate in some form or fashion. All right, guys, um, as always, happy to help. Uh, my name is Joel Hargett. Please like and subscribe. That always helps out. And then if you have any real estate questions or needs, feel free to reach out to me at 704-996-6496 or at joel.hargett at exprealty.com. All right, guys, y'all have a great day.